understanding group policy processing order. You can link GPUs only to activity sites, domain or OU objects. You cannot link GPUs to built-in containers such as the default users container or built-in container or computer containers. These containers can receive only policies by inheriting them from the GPUs linked to domains or sites above them in an Active Directory domain service hierarchy. GPUs affect the containers to which they are linked in the different ways. If you link GPU to site, then site link GPUs affect all the domains within a site. If you link GPU at domain level, then domain link GPUs affect all the users and computers within the domain and within any subordinate containers inside the domain. This includes objects in building containers as well as objects within OUs in the domain structure. If you link GPU to OU, then OU link GPUs affect all the objects within the OU and any subordinate OU structures nested beneath them. Windows system receives GPUs from multiple sources, process them in a typical order referred to as an LSDOU. L for local policies, S for site policies, D for domain policies, and O for OU policies. Let's understand what is the order of precedence in OU hierarchy. GPUs link to an OU at the highest level in the directory are processed first followed by GPUs that are linked to its child OU and so on. This means GPUs that are linked directly to an OU that contains user or computer objects are processed last, hence has the highest precedence. Let's see the example. Let's come back to our domain controller and here let's click on Group Policy Management Console. Folder redirection GPU will have precedence over the deploy common desktop wallpaper GPU since it will be processed last and thus potentially overriding the settings in the GPU higher up in the hierarchy. In a simple word, I can say if the user account resides under our test OU1, then deploy common desktop wallpaper GPU will apply first and then folder redirection GPU will be applied. That means folder redirection GPU have highest precedence value over deploy common wallpaper desktop background. Now what happens if several GPUs are linked to an OU? If you have a more than one GPU linked to an OU, then the processing order of this GPU is determined by link order. For example, let's click on test OU1. Now on a test OU1, we have a two group policy object linked. First folder redirection GPU and second log taskbar GPU. Now let's click on link group policy object. Now here you can see we have a link order. Log taskbar GPU has link order 1 and folder redirection GPU have link order 2. The GPU with the lowest link order will be processed last. In other words, the GPU with the link order of 1 has the highest precedence followed by link order 2. In this case, log taskbar GPO will have precedence over folder redirection GPO. Now, what about group policy inheritance and blocking? GPOs applied to a domain, site or OU are inherited by child containers. As with multiple GPOs in an OU, the processing order is determined by the link order. Now, for example, let's uh, click on building to OU. Let's click on group policy inheritance. Now, here you can see precedence value 1 for default domain policy. This is the GPU. And the second precedence value for deploy common desktop background GPU. You can choose to block inheritance so that the settings from a GPU applied in a parent OU will not be inherited by a child OU. Now let's see how we can block inheritance. Let's click on building 2, right click on it and select block inheritance. Right now you can see group policy inheritance have two GPU link. Precedence value 1 for default domain policy 
and precedence value too for deployed common desktop background GPU. And that GPUs are inherited from domain level. Let's select block inheritance. And here we go. Now there is no GPU applying on building to OU. And in block inheritance case, only the GPU that is applied directly on the OU will be processed with the inheritance block. Now let's understand how does GPU enforcement work. Simply put, enforcing a GPU means that the settings in the enforced GPU will take precedence over settings in a child object. Consider our previous example where we block inheritance on our building to OU. Now if we enforce our default domain policy GPU as we should be, then this policy will be forced to apply on the building to OU regardless. So let's select default domain policy, right click on it and select enforce. Now if we again click on building to OU and if you see group policy inheritance, here we can see precedence value 1 with enforce options and GPU is default domain policy. That means default domain policy GPU is currently applying on our building to OU. And that concludes the video demonstration on group policy processing order. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.